The FBI now infiltrating churches, invading religion. The Weaponization Committee sent this letter over to Christopher Wray at the FBI. They said that we now know the FBI, relying on information derived from at least one undercover employee, sought to use religious organizations as avenues for tripwire and source development. We've already talked about the other ways that the FBI will exploit informants, sending them into prayer groups, sending them into churches as well, and other official religious organizations just extends that. We've seen that they will send them into attorney's offices, sent by Jim Jordan, being directed to Christopher Ray the director of the FBI. Jim Jordan says, Dear Director Ray, the Committee on the Judiciary is conducting oversight on the FBI and your handling of domestic violent extremism investigations against Catholic Americans and its effect on protected First Amendment activity. He says, based on the limited information produced by the FBI to the Judiciary Committee, we now know that the FBI relied on at least one undercover agent to produce its analysis, and that the FBI proposed that its agents engage in outreach to Catholic parishes to develop sources among the clergy and the church leadership to inform on Americans practicing their faith. Infiltrate the priests? This shocking information reinforces our need for all responsive documents and the committee is issuing a subpoena to compel you for your full cooperation. Boom. Judiciary Committee subpoena going to Christopher Ray. We have repeatedly he says, sought information from the FBI relating to a January 23rd, 2023 document generated by the Richmond field office called the interest of racially or ethnically motivated violent extremists and radical traditionalist Catholic ideology almost certainly presents new mitigation opportunities. We're going to call that the document, big giant long title. It says, in this document, the FBI purported to categorize Catholic Americans based on theological distinctions and relied on the Southern Poverty Law Center to suggest that certain kinds of Catholic Americans may be domestic terrorists. Footnote two, and they're referencing the same FBI document. On February 16, 2023, we first wrote to you requesting documents, and after receiving no response, we reiterated it again in March. But then in March, we got a very substandard and garbage partial response from you, FBI Director Ray consisting only of 18 pages, many with significant redactions of what you claim to be personally identifiable information or, quote, non-public info about the FBI, quote, investigation sources and methods, which is what they always say. Oh, it's our sources and methods. Okay. That doesn't give you the justification to redact everything. And they say, well, it does actually. And they do it. And that prevents the committee, says Jim, from fully assessing what you are doing here. Says this limited information that was provided to the committee by you, the FBI, makes clear that we must possess all responsive material without the redactions. And from this selective production, we know that the FBI, relying on information derived from at least one undercover employee, sought to use local religious organizations as, quote, new avenues for tripwire and source development, the FBI invading the churches. For example, in the section entitled Opportunities, you guys at the FBI wrote the following. You said, in addition to redacted, engage in outreach to the leadership of other chapels in the FBI Richmond area to sensitize these congregations to the warning signs of radicalization and to enlist their assistance to serve as suspicious activity tripwires. So when you go in and you sit down for confession with your priest, FBI would like that to be a fed. The FBI similarly noted two other opportunities to engage in outreach with these institutions. They cited a desire to sensitize the congregation. Now this outreach plan even included contacting so-called mainline Catholic parishes and the local diocese leadership. The FBI also expressed an interest in leveraging ex existing sources and initiating type five assessments to develop new sources with placement and access to report on suspicious activity. The next time you get communion, you better be very careful. If they're wearing sunglasses, check their ears for earpieces. 
the body of Christ. And who did you vote for? Okay, here you go. Good. Nope, get out of line. You're banned. Now, this information is outrageous, says Jim Jordan. He's right about this. And it only reinforces the committee's need for all FBI material responsive to our request. The documents produced to date show how the FBI sought to enlist Catholic houses of worship as potential sources to monitor and report on their parishioners. Americans attend church to worship and to congregate for their spiritual and personal betterment. They must be free to exercise their fundamental First Amendment rights without worrying that the FBI may have planted a so-called tripwire source or other informants in their houses of worship. Although the FBI claims to have numerous and rigorous policies to protect First Amendment rights, which is laughable, the FBI Richmond's document plainly undercuts these assertions. The document itself shows that its contents, including its proposal to develop sources in Catholic churches, were reviewed and approved by two senior intelligence analysts, of course, and even the local chief division council. They all love it. Top to bottom, yes. Are they, are they worshiping somebody other than a federal bureaucracy? They have faith in an institution other than the government? Investigate them. We know from whistleblowers that the FBI distributed this document to field offices all across the country. Go and invade the Catholic churches. It is unclear, however, how many FBI employees actually explored new avenues for these tripwires in Catholic houses of worship across the country, resulting from the FBI. The Supreme Court has recognized that Congress has brought an indispensable power to conduct oversight over this stuff, Christopher Wray. Pursuant to the House rules, we are doing that, including the FBI and the Justice Department, including your law enforcement and counterterrorism resources. We have a duty to protect civil liberties. And these potential reforms could include, among other things, legislation to prescribe what your crap organization does. And we are requesting information accordingly. Therefore, Chris, in light of your disregard for our earlier voluntary requests, please find attached a subpoena for the requested documents and information. Sincerely, your friend, Jim Jordan, Chairman, Judiciary Committee, House of Representatives, United States Congress. You can see this sent on April 10th, 2023. And the subpoena looks like it is just for information and documents, not going to be compelling Christopher Ray to come in there and answer any questions, but certainly we would like to see what those documents contained. And I do like the fact that Jim Jordan is escalating this a little bit. How tired are we of the executive branch just ignoring all of the oversight requests from the legislative branch? The legislative branch, of course, we have separation of powers that separates these two entities, but if they continue to be snubbed, well, then the Congress can do exactly the same thing that the prior Congress did, and this Congress has the power of the purse, and if the FBI is not responsive, why do they need to continue to be funded? Maybe they don't. We'll see what Jim Jordan does. Happy to see a subpoena going out to the FBI. We'll see what comes of it.